Now this piece was different because both of us got to view it at once. Um, tell me what it was like to look at it with me. Well, at first it was great. We had both, um, we'd never seen the piece before, so it was a new experience for both of us. And um, I thought as far as the craftsmanship went, it was well constructed and it was smooth and we were able to gracefully spin the, um, the work around the, around the dowel. Um, up until there, were, there was a part where I wanted to look at it a little more closely, but you kept spinning it. And I, I guess I could have communicated better with you, but it was really difficult because I wanted to see a part that you didn't want to look at anymore. So you kept spinning it. Right, and I was going the other way. Yeah, you started reversing the direction. And I like things to be concise and in order. And you were disrupting that for me. Okay, so you interacted with three versions of this piece. And this one was called Tug, Tug, Tug. Want to tell us what it was like to use the rolling version of the story? Sure. Well, I'm kind of short, so I feel like it was a little bit difficult for me because it was so tall. And I feel like maybe it would have been more helpful if I had some help with this one or maybe a step stool. Mm -hmm. um, I tried to use my entire body weight and sort of hang on it to pull it down, and that that worked, but it was definitely a challenge. What was it like to reverse the story? Well, that was really exciting for me to reverse the story. Um, it was really heavily involved in viewer participation, which I like. It was very interactive, and I could manipulate the story. Okay, so this version of the story was a, an installation and it was a much larger version. Can you tell me what it was like to enter the gallery space and interact with this version of the piece? Sure. This was very four-dimensional, a very four-dimensional experience for me. In the beginning it was quite overwhelming because of the ginormous size of this piece. But once I entered upon the space I felt sort of like I became part of the piece. Um, That's interesting. What made you feel like you were part of the piece? Was it the, the scale? It was the scale of the piece. Um, you know, it was much taller than I am, but uh, it pulled me into it, um, I think because of, of um, the scale. It also was really neat because Spatially, it was really, um, it was almost aesthetically pleasing spatially to move around it. It was, I think it was a successful piece. It reminded me a little bit of the revolving doors that you go through sometimes to get into different buildings. So it had that spinning feel to it, even though it was stationary. Right. That's true. It did. But I was able to control the speed. Did you find yourself spinning more amounts of time in different parts of it than others? Um, no, I would say it was pretty equal. I was, um, all of the panels were definitely um, striking both visually and size-wise, so I, I spent equal amounts of time with each one.